I'm going to do this really, really, really fast. This right here is the 50 caliber cartridge. 50 caliber cartridge was used in World War II for aircraft, such as the P-47. P-47 had eight machine guns, eight machine guns. Each one of those machine guns fired approximately 800 rounds per minute because we're talking A and M2, not just M2. They'll fire a little bit faster, anywhere from 750 to 850. So we'll just say 800 rounds per minute. Eight machine guns, 800 rounds per minute equals 6,400 rounds. So in the uh, movies that you see, uh, World War II, where the, the plane is being fired at, and you see the tracers going towards the, the, at the plane, what you're seeing is 6,400 rounds per minute at that plane. And it takes all those rounds to take that plane down. And typically that's done just a couple hundred yards away. Now, uh, and what you see is just the, the tracer rounds, you're not seeing the ball. Typically, for every uh, four ball, you're going to see one tracer. So, the larger, the farthest known uh, shot with 50 caliber was just uh, a couple years back, and it was 2,657 yards, and that was by a highly trained military sniper, and it had an extreme amount of luck involved. The target was stationary; it wasn't moving at the time. So we're talking. Um, people are, are talking about, gee, you're going to shoot down an aircraft, you're going to shoot down a 727. 727 is 100,000 pounds and it typically cruises at 0.81 Mach. Yes, 0.81 Mach. So the chances of you actually hitting one at 0.81 Mach, we're, we're going to remember, 1,000 yards, no wind, probably 10 inch circle you're going to use one of these. You know, it's going to hit within a 10 inch circle at a thousand yards and people are thinking that oh gee you're going to actually hit something traveling 0.81 Mach uh, 30,000 feet in the air. Okay let's make it simpler. The plane is taking off and all of a sudden you're going to hit it with this. Well remember you know, World War II movies it took all the you know, 6400 rounds to take down the plane. Well people are, are afraid you're going to take out uh, a 727 with one of these. Can't happen, won't happen, it's impossible um, remember, a P-47 is about 10,000 pounds, a 727 100,000 pounds, P-47 300 miles an hour, uh, 747 uh, 0.81 Mach, and so hundreds and hundreds of miles an hour, just, just under the speed of sound. Uh, let's see, the deal is, you're trying, you know, the plane is taking off, and let's say it's doing 150 miles an hour, 1,000 yards off. You're not going to hit shit with us. <laughs> and that's just a fact. You're not going to, you'll probably hit a plane with one of these if you try hard enough uh, and you've got invested $9,000 or so uh, in a, a decent 50 caliber rifle. $9,000. Uh, a dirt cheap 50 caliber is going to cost you $2,200. And to hit something at 1,000 yards, you're going to require a good scope, which is about $1,500. So, you know, Let's say four thousand dollars. Okay, then you got to practice. Uh, these are about three bucks a pop. Uh, so you know you can see where this is going. This is not going to happen. Uh, and if it did hit a plane, that bullet would not do anything to it. Uh, it would take lots and lots and lots of these. It's just not going to happen. You see uh, reports in uh, the early part of the Afghan war. Well, Af Afghan war as well as the Iraq war where um, cargo planes were hit by missiles while landing or taking off. And they either circled around and land again or you just kept on going. And we're talking missiles, you know, 100 pound warhead. This little thing, not gonna do it. So you know, if you hear people saying, oh, I'm afraid that one of these little bitty things, and sure, that is a little bitty thing compared to anti-aircraft, one of these little things is not going to take down a plane. It's not going to kill a train, doesn't kill houses, doesn't kill mountains, it doesn't bring down big buildings. It's none of that crap that you see on TV. This right here is just a single bullet. It travels at a, a, at a certain amount of speed, depending on the bullet and everything else. This right here is a little bit different. This is a, a spotter tracer and it was never designed for a 50 caliber. It was designed for a 50 caliber uh, spotter round, which is shorter than this. So this is a reloaded round. But besides that, a 50 caliber round is not going to take down a plane. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't do it. Doesn't do massive decompression. Doesn't do any of that that type of stuff. So uh, this this whole rant is based on 
someone on TV saying, stating today that they were afraid someone was going to take a 50 caliber and shoot down a plane or a helicopter. Not going to happen. It, it's just a bunch of crap. So if you see that, don't believe it. And then you know, if you really have to look at the evidence, just look at the World War II pictures. Uh, it just didn't happen. It just if it was possible during World War II that 10,000 pound plane or less would have fired one of these and would have hit the enemy aircraft and the aircraft would have just went down. No, 6,400 rounds worth. Yeah, it, it took hundreds of rounds you know, typically to take down a plane. So just, just one. And that was at a couple hundred yards off. So it just doesn't happen. Just getting sick, sick and tired of hearing all the propaganda. So, you know, there it is, that right there is the 50 caliber, uh, one myth busted. If you don't believe it, uh, you better look into, into the history. Take a look at the physics, it's just not ha not happening, it's not there. Uh, that right there is the, uh, a quick one on, not so quick one, on the 50 caliber.